Learning proper typographic hierarchy can make an information-packed design seem orderly and clean. You will constantly run into situations where design calls for an insane amount of information. Mastering this can make the difference between a good design and a great design. Type hierarchy starts with your main headline being the largest font size and importance in your design. Big and bold, but most importantly, short. Subheadlines or bylines tend to help support the main headline. They can be just a little bit longer in length, but be careful not to have more than two lines of text as it starts to offset the flow of the design and look a little busy and compete with the headline as well. Body copy is where the lion's share of your text and information will go. This will go into more of a full detail of what you need to tell the viewer. Call to actions are usually at the bottom. Not necessarily larger than the headline, but also not as small as the body copy. These are large enough to stand out and are usually helped by being a different color in a box or being a different font type or weight. Outside of the headline, this is the most important piece of information. Lastly, copyright and small details can be in the smallest font size that is readable, totally out of the way, but still aligned with the rest of the type. This is a good example of type hierarchy being used in an ad design. The headline is big, bold, and in a different color. A smaller support headline helps keep the main headline short. The body copy is smaller here, but the top line with the date is highlighted and slightly larger to stand out. The call to action, which is the website here, is in a box with a themed color, but it's not the biggest thing on the page, but still it stands out. So I'm in Canva today and we're going to use font hierarchy on a business card design. So I just went to the business card templates in Canva and this is kind of one I chose that I thought would be kind of a good blank canvas that we can kind of practice this on. Um, so I'm going to make up kind of a fake business card. I already have kind of a name here which is nice and large. Um, usually on a business card your name would be the main headline so we kind of already have that established. I kind of want to have a title. So what I want to do is that title is really going to be our subline. It's going to complement the headline and be large, but not be a little bit larger than the body copy, but not as large as my name. I really want my name to stand out. So what I like to do when I already have kind of a, um, a text box, I just like to copy. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of copy and paste kind of a title. And this is way too large. So what we're going to do is we want it to complement the headline but not compete. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I just changed the font size. And this is still competing. So we want to maybe unbold it and maybe add some spacing between the characters and make it even smaller. So let's try 10. And another way, and you can kind of tuck it against this so they really complement each other. And another way to maybe differentiate the two is maybe a color change. I can make this uh, slightly darker, just like that. So you can kind of maybe it's a little bit brighter than that. Oh, let me go ahead and click on here. Just a little bit brighter so it pops out. So this kind of brings out the color in this template that was already kind of a pre-made one from Canva. Um, so you can kind of see how that goes really well together. And so to do a backside, I'm going to go ahead and add a new page. And I already did this on this one, so let me just do it again so I can show you. So I'm adding a new page, and this will be the back side of the business card. This is going to be your front, and the second page is going to be your back. I no longer need this second page that I already created, so I have a front and a back. So this is where we're really going to be able to practice font hierarchy. Um, so let's go ahead and just create some general text. So I'm just going to drag in. This is going to be kind of the main event. So what kind of things do you need on a, a business card? So you're going to need your phone. I'm going to make this much smaller. Usually um, 12 point font works really well. I'm going to align this to the left. Let me get that back in the center. So I can drag it over. There we go. Actually, let's do everything center aligned to have a nice center hierarchy. So we're going to do our phone number here, copy and paste. And let's go ahead and type in a, a real quick kind of fake phone number. 
and we want our phone number to kind of be like a headline and this to kind of be a complimentary kind of a body copy where it's important but it really doesn't need to be that big in size so let's do eight and let's try to find there's a nice font that's not quite as bold or I can even use a San serif font that's nice and thin and it doesn't have the serifs on it so it'll help differentiate a little bit I could even probably make that a six let's just add a little bit of more spacing between the characters so now and we probably since this phone is not really a headline our headline was kind of on the front of the document let's go ahead and make this 10 make that a little bit smaller we're going to have a phone number we're also going to have other contact information um, so let's kind of tuck that in let's do another let's go ahead and group those and then we're going to copy it and we're just going to do that with um, another set of contact information I'm going to ungroup it and start to edit it we're going to do email next email I think I need a dash in there so we're just going to do email at hotmail.com so you can kind of see this nice hierarchy we have kind of our headline byline or body copy and let's do another kind of block of information here let's do kind of our call to action which is going to be our website that's ultimately where we want people to go we don't really need www anymore these days so I'm just going to do fakewebsite.com and this needs a little bit more hierarchy so this needs to be a little bit bolder and bigger uh, so let's make it bigger whoa it's a little too big bring it back down let's make it all caps and that'll break up kind of this lower this is um, not all caps and this is all caps so that's just another way to differentiate we can also do since it's going to be larger we can lighten the color a little bit and see how maybe that looks maybe down here below and let's try a different font here Let's try this one and make it just a hair smaller and add some spacing. I love adding spacing to get really uh, helps everything breathe a little bit. So we can actually um, do social media icons down here. So if I just wanted to take this information, I can actually even do this in a different size. So let me copy and paste. Social. Or I could just put social media, I guess. Social media. And I don't want to have too many of the same uh, types. I want to kind of break this up a tiny bit. Uh, let me see what we can do here. We could probably put the icons. We'll have to download and drag in kind of the icons down here. And that'll kind of help break up the visuals a little bit. And then, and this, so this is kind of a nice vertical or centered aligned type hier hierarchy kind of see it here on the front and let's say we had to do a one-sided business card so that's a lot of information that we would have to have on one side but that's um, it's cheaper to do business cards on one side so let's just do an example to really uh, show proper hierarchy so let's go ahead I'm just copying from the front of the business card we have up there and I'm going to be pasting our name and title now how can we work all this in and make it look really nice so I think the sizing is already perfect and, and and this is too crunched for space and I can't make it much smaller because I want it to be readable when it's printed let's go ahead and move our phone over here Oops. let's move our email over here make sure it's aligned make sure the spacing here is the same spacing here Social media icons will kind of be along the side, which I think are more important these days than your phone and email. And website, let me just go ahead and change this because I know this is going to be longer if I do the proper name. So let's do Jessica Brown. Make sure I spelled it right. Okay. Put that. That's really important, but I don't want it to compete with the headline. So I almost wonder if italicized if that kind of helps and I don't like the italics on that particular font so you know we'll try something else let's see you know that works too I really like kind of playing with maybe this one 
And since we're making it bolder, let's make it smaller. It's all about balance with font and type hierarchy. And so the social media icons will eventually be placed there. We can always bring our little texture. We can just copy and paste it on this one side. And nothing's, uh, we have this obviously being the main headline, this helping complement. This being kind of your body copy and main information, and this being your headline. So we can always screen this back, bring it to the back, and let's just reduce the transparency so it's not as um, out there. And I'm actually going to turn this, so I'm going to rotate this graphic just a little bit, give it a little angle. Of course, I can choose a different graphic. I can create my own bring it in or use something that Canva already has. And so eventually I'll need to get the, the three or four social media icons there. So this is kind of just basic hierarchy. I'm just going to tweak this. I think this is too bold compared to this headline. So let's switch this back to have it be less bold. And once that's in there, it'll be a nice balance between all of this information. All right, so I wanted to come back and do a little bit more refinement. So I kind of messed around with a little bit of the font choices. And I was able to bring in my social media icons by just typing in Twitter and have kind of a free icon I can drag. And notice how the colors match the headline here. They complement. It's not just white and then white. It's kind of got the two different color tones. So things kind of pop out and stand out. Um, I also want to maybe uh, delete that little graphic and kind of bring in kind of a photo. I think that might be a little bit stronger for what we're doing. So I'm just bringing in this kind of generic photo they have available and kind of see how it looks. So let's just send this to the back of our card behind all of this information. And we keep clicking away and we have a lot of layers here. I think that's all of them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to blend this photo back in. Um, so a way to do that, we're going to select it. Let's go to Transparency. I'm going to reduce it a little bit so you can kind of see it coming through. And we could do this with a wide variety of different um, photos, but I think this works okay for what we need. And we can always go to Filter and Fine Tune it here. I'm going to do Contrast or Tint. It complements saturation, reduce the saturation, increase the contrast, make her pop out, darkness, vignette. And I think we have a start to a business card. Not final, but um, maybe we could put a bar here really quickly to kind of highlight this call to action to separate it more from the headline. Um, not as important as the headline, but it's the next important thing. So let's go to elements. And just bring in kind of a generic box. Let's go ahead and um, go to our elements, shapes. And let's just kind of bring in your default square and go ahead and make a bar out of it. Just shrinking it down, bringing it across. I'm going to arrange and send this all the way to the back. And what would be really cool if we made this a little bit transparent or use that complement pink in there for the bar. Or even better, we can use the keep the white and have the complement purple just like that. And since there's a lot of white, actually let me screen back that, this, this right here, this bar. Don't want to take away from the Jessica Brown too much. So when we screen that back, it doesn't compete quite as much with the, the name. So we can continue to tweak this and make it better and better. But here's just a quick start using font hierarchy to kind of have a nice layout with all of the different um, information elements we needed to include on this business card.